Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 53rd episode of Real Talk. Nice to see you all today. And hey Legend, welcome back to the show. Yes, Legend was not here um, on the last episode as I put a note down below. And I mentioned that Legend was uh, could not attend because he was very busy that episode. Right man? Now, today's episode... As you can see down below where it says, commission fail. Or should I say no? I No, it says out of commission, sorry. I don't know where I was getting that from. Don't ask. Had a hard day. The point of the matter is this. I took a look at a job because I'm trying to get into a trade also that where I can make some extra money so I can help the network get more organized and get more stuff going with the network. Including Legend 2. Calm down, man. But the point of the matter is this. Is that I didn't know it was a job that pays not salary, but commission. Now, if all of you know one thing about commission. Commission is where people pay you only if you sell their products. And that would involve telemarketing. And that would involve freaking... Um, going door to door and trying to sell products like this place is called summit energy a place where you would be selling products like water heaters um, furnaces and stuff like that it's environmental products but the point of the matter is this I did not go there to freaking sacrifice trying to make money working my ass off in the cold I went there because I want to work for an hourly salary not for a commission we have to work your ass off and sacrifice to try and make money and then if no one takes what you sell you don't make nothing you get a zero that's what you would get if you're not good at selling something okay I have a family to support I am not fucking risking myself to do anything like that now legend I know you're from the Caribbean and all that stuff can you tell me what you if you ever had to do any commission sales what one? Wow, man. I had to do a little commission back in Caribbean. I had to uh, do some dances like this. Ooh, ooh, man. Woo. I had to do so much dancing, man. You know, when you do a lot of dancing for hours, some people don't like my dancing. They see that I did too much sexual acts like this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whoa, legend. Come on, we're on camera, man. Oh, for yo. So, you know, the point of the matter is. Don't ever good commission job. The commission jobs will really fuck you up, man. And I mean real talk, man. Yeah. You see what 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 he just said. A very good point. He worked his ass off doing some weird dance he just did. Hey, don't fucking hit me. Ow! Don't hit me. Whatever, legend. Ooh, fuck you. Uh, as I'm trying to say, besides this guy annoying me here, is that the point of the matter is this. You should never have to work your ass off to earn money. You know, today I was in a course where they were training you about the job, what you'd have to do. So I thought, when I first heard it was commission, I wanted to see, okay, let's see what this is all about before I make any accurate decisions. So I'm in there. What happens? The guy starts talking about the job. And first of all, this guy's going on. Sorry, guys. But this guy's going on and on and on about how to pay a bill and how to get low rates. Okay, he was off topic. Talking about what you do in reality for about a half an hour. Most boring part of, the, of that time. And then this guy tries telling us and I did agree with him but this guy fucking says oh in this type of predicament you should never think about money you should really think about you know moving up in the company and your career goals I agree but what the hell do you think we're gonna be thinking of course we're gonna think about career goals buddy okay but at the same time everyone that's in there probably has a family that he or she is sacrificing to support for. Yeah, you're only saying that because you probably make 38000 or more a year sitting at a desk and 
saying this stuff all day to yourself on the phone and training in these courses. So what the fuck, man? You know, people who pay you in commission that way, I think it's a ripoff. I think it's a big time ripoff. Because no one should be getting paid in commission. Nobody at all. You know? Um, by the way, before we speak, continue in Legend, you said you had to go, right? Well, I want money to go now. See you, on. Alright, see you, Legend. What, what are you doing? Oh, hey, here's a hug. Okay. 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 I love you. Love you, too. Legend. Legend, gotta do a broadcast, man. Say bye. Walk on. Yeah, Legend doesn't stay on the whole broadcast that much, really, because he has stuff to do. But he always volunteers. He's very good that way. But as I'm trying to say, though, as I am always going into trying to look for a job to try and help out my network, there's always a problem with jobs. The economy has no more jobs these days. So that's why there's always these guys, like telemarketers or freaking people who come door to door offering to sell you stuff because they know and they want you to work for them. That's the thing. They want you badly to work for them so that they know you won't sell that much and they can still keep more money in their pocket. It's, it's like a freaking game. That's what it is. It's a game. It's a scam. You know, it's fucking bullshit and it's a scam. That's why I don't ever trust telemarketers. That's why I don't even ever trust jobs that give commission and not hourly salaries. And that's what I'm trying to say, people. You do not ever trust an ad that says that. If an ad says a customer service representative and then it shows how much money you make a year and they're going to really get you to look. They're going to say you can make two grand a week. You can make 16 grand a month. They're going to say stuff like that, man. Only because they want workers to help themselves so badly. And it's the truth. I'm not lying when I say that. And most people would say the same thing. Almost everybody I know would never go into telemarketing for that reason or anything that pays commission by selling stuff. If you know you're good at selling stuff and you're a good catch, go for it. Go for it. If you know you're very good, go for it. Excuse me. Because some people do have the catch to do it. But when it comes down to if you know you're not very good at selling things, just don't just don't go for it at all because you're wasting your time. And then after, you know, you don't want to be disappointed in yourself, you know. And then there's another thing that this guy said today too. He says, every time when a person gets money, they get comfortable. Yeah, you do get comfortable. That's what you're supposed to feel comfortable when you get your money. It's not a fact or a saying. That's how everybody is. No matter if you want to move up as a CEO, you still will feel comfortable with your paycheck because that will help you survive. You see, people like that don't trust them. They are scum. And that's the truth. I wouldn't just say that either. But people like that are scum. Because you don't want people to freaking be trying to force you to do stuff like that, you know? This guy, it was a pretty good inspirational speaker, but I knew deep down inside he was a bullshitter. I knew it deep down inside. Just a guy that wants you to work for him and that will pay you less money to make you think that much wasn't sold. End of discussion. And I know what I'm saying is true. I know other people have been through that out of honesty. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much the end of the episode. And before I go, I just want to say again in this episode, if you still want to donate to Sick Kids Hospital and you want to help a child in need who is really sick with a disease or cancer or anything like that, please donate to Sick Kids at www.sickkids.ca. Okay? Anyways, I gotta get going, guys. Thank you for joining me for the 53rd episode of Real Talk. I hope I inspired you today. Watch, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends and family. And please keep watching Real Talk. Take care. Quote of the day. Let's all get along with one another so we can be dangerous together. Did Real Talk inspire you today? Well, everybody, if it inspires you and you have a problem that you have at home or anywhere at all that you need help dealing with, please, everybody, do not have an issue with the please. If you want to call me directly to let me know your problem and I can give you some help with it, please give me a call 
at my number right here where it says 647-741-0621. Or if you'd rather email it to me because you'd rather do it by the technical social media way, please email me at gpbes austin bullock at outlook.com. Okay? Now, anytime you have a problem, please don't forget to email me or call me. Thank you guys. Have a great day, and see y'all next week for Real Talk. Bye.